Cuba, it's me, Elian Habanero, episode 16 of the Wheeler Show. We're celebrating birthdays here. Me, the cameraman, everybody, WrestleMania week, so exciting. What are we going to talk about? Well, first, Wheeler stands for wrestling is life. Life is wrestling. And I want to say the Raw after WrestleMania. Now, normally, a three-hour Raw is just too much. This is the one time I wish it was actually longer, just because the crowd is so good and, like, I wish they would have more guys wrestle so they could experience that crowd. And uh, I think they did the first thing with Roman Reigns so perfect. The crowd so pumped up. They won a chant. He just came in there, said, it's my yard now. How great was that? Nice to see the Revival on the main roster. That was a nice surprise. But I got to say, are the Revival going to cut it on the main roster? I mean, they're not going to get half an hour to have their fantastic matches they always have. And they're gonna, how are they going to do five-minute matches and be over? I don't know if they are. I hope they are. But that's the question. Like, all these guys in NXT get these long matches, but when you get to the main roster, you only get, like, an eight-minute match, and you still got to get over, and you have to be a good talker, and they're not that good on the mic. I hope they do, but it was great to see them. Now, I'm not that big of a Finn Balor guy. I don't know. Like, I like his demon thing. I, he just doesn't do it for me as a main event guy. Like, shouldn't he be a cruiserweight? But it was happy to see him back. The way they did the angle with Jericho, what a promo by Jericho. Like, even mentioning the beach ball thing in there, that was just so well done. So good, but it looks like he may be off TV for a while. And uh, I just love the Raw after WrestleMania. Like, there wasn't even that anything that, that was too great that really sticks out to me, That to be honest, that I could think of. SmackDown should be good coming up tonight. The Blue Jays started their season. I just love wrestling. I love birthdays. So far, I mean, it's only like... 4 p.m., but I mean, everybody that sent me messages, Rosemary Bandera, it was so nice, that little collage you made of all our pictures together, I love that. Chris Thorne sent me the nicest message out of everybody saying that I'm good at selling, and from him, who I have a lot of respect for, it really means a lot. Everybody else, I got nice messages, posts on Facebook, some text messages, I can't thank you enough, I love wrestling, I love birthdays, it's so much fun, what else did we see on Raw, like I'm trying to think. Uh, what else was really that that stood out to me? I mean, obviously the Hardy Boys were good, and they milked it, like coming after commercial, and then then they had like the long promo after the commercial. And finally, they got to do, those guys must be so tired. They did a ladder match in the Indies, I think it was Ring of Honor. Then they did the WrestleMania ladder match. Then they did the Raw after WrestleMania, and all their emotions and everything going through. I mean, they those guys are gonna sleep well this week. I'll tell you that right now. Now. Um, the only thing I didn't like is Seth Rollins did the unsanctioned match. He could barely get into the match. He got his knee destroyed in the match, yet he was perfectly fine on Monday Night Raw. Like, come on. But it was a good match nonetheless. Um, trying to think of what else stuck out to me. Was there any other debuts? Uh, I don't think there was. But it, it was a good Raw. Like, it just it went faster than the other ones. The other ones just seemed to drag on and on and on. There was a couple sweet moves in that Neville versus Mustafa match. But the, I feel bad for them because the crowd is not into it and they're just playing the beach ball and stuff. Wouldn't it be great for like next year if they had the beach ball and somebody that's a heel could get their hands on it and pop the beach ball? They would get the most heat ever. And um, I'm just excited. I don't want to talk long because I want to celebrate. Everybody loves celebrating. We're going to have fun. We're going to have a wrestling themed birthday day, of course, because wrestling is life. Now remember, like, or you get a leg drop, comment, or you get a clothesline, subscribe, or you get a suplex. I love brother, no, well I do love brothers, but I love birthdays, I love wrestling, I'm Elian Habanero, Cuba!